In this video, we'll take a look at the Lewis structure for C2H5OH. This is ethanol, also called ethyl alcohol. So let's start by counting up the valence electrons. We have two carbons, so carbon group 14, sometimes called 4A, has four valence electrons. We have two of those. Hydrogen's in group one, and then we have five hydrogens, oxygen, six, and then we have this other hydrogen here. If we count this all up, we get a total of 20 valence electrons for the c 2 h 5 OH Lewis structure. When we look at the formula C2H5OH, this OH out here at the end, that tells us we have an alcohol. So that's why this is put on the end here. So if we write the Lewis structure, we'll put the carbons on the inside. They are the least electronegative and hydrogen does always go on the outside. So we have two carbons and then we have five hydrogens. And then for the OH, we're going to keep that together. So we're just going to stick that out here. Next, we'll put a pair of electrons between atoms. That's going to form the chemical bond. So we'll do that for all these atoms here. So far, we've used 16 valence electrons. We have four more. Let's put those on the oxygen, complete the octet for the oxygen. And now each hydrogen has two valence electrons, so they're okay. Carbon has eight. This carbon has eight. This oxygen here, it has eight. So this is the Lewis structure for C2H5OH. We've used all 20 valence electrons, and all of the atoms have the right number of electrons around them. You'll see this written two other ways. The first way is to have these bonds here, the pair of electrons between atoms replaced with lines representing that single bond. So you'll see it this way. And then sometimes we don't write the hydrogens or the carbons. We just have a carbon here and here, and then our oxygen bonded to the hydrogen. So this is a really simple way. There's no hydrogens or carbons written. So either way, it's the same structure. But let's take a look at this in three dimensions and then look a little bit at the polarity for ethanol. So this is what we would have if we looked at this in three dimensions. These are the carbons or the gray, white, hydrogen, and then the red, the oxygen. So you can see that for each carbon, we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And then this OH group up here, that's our alcohol. That's what makes this an alcohol. If we looked at the surface of the molecule, we know that the oxygen is very electronegative. So compared to the other elements, oxygen is more electronegative. So it's going to be a little bit the electrons in these bonds right here they're going to spend more time with the oxygen. It'll be more negative, and that'll make the hydrogen up here especially more positive. So we do have a polar molecule, and that influences the properties of ethanol. For example, it'll dissolve in another polar solvent like water. So this is our Lewis structure for C2H5OH. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.